Let me take a minute here to, to talk about the plantain leaf. It's this little stringy looking leaf right here. It's got medicinal properties where you can heal broken bones with it, similar to comfrey. You would place it against the skin. I hear people would mash it up and then put it up as a paste on their skin and a place like a bruise or a broken bone and it's supposed to fix it. Uh, these are the seeds. Um, people say that these are, I, I don't believe it because I never tried it, but the seeds are supposed to be like the uh, chia seeds and get gelatinous when you consume them. I haven't done it. People have also said that you can eat the plantain leaf. I've tried it and my stomach got in pain, it hurt, so I don't believe that. It's just like the comfrey, where you cannot consume the comfrey because it's in a bit it's a bit toxic, but it does a good job with the uh, bruises and broken bones if you only apply it on the skin directly. Um, here's a little clover, just pointing that out. It's three little three little leaves. Um, but I've used the plantain for a few years. I will say before I started using magnet therapy when I placed it on uh, my ankle, I sprained my ankle, I put the plantain on and it felt like it drew energy from other parts of my body. I don't know, it's weird, but I felt weaker in my, my head maybe a little bit and, and uh, I think it may be a type of plant that will take focus away from other parts of your body and place it on the bruised part to help accelerate the fixing so it may focus on imbalance to repair the damaged body part <coughs> So that's something to be aware of. Um, I'm going to go through here. I wanted to hit another a plant or two before I close out. Um, I'm going to go through here. We'll just see what we have. We have raspberry leaf. Um, probably won't produce many good ber berries because you need to mow around these uh, yeah, to get the big berries because everything's competing against these. Um, this... This right here is a willow. It's just starting out. You could actually chew on the leaves for solace and, and that'll remove the, uh, and you know, that, that converts into aspirin and relieves pain. These are just little things. I mean, they grow into huge trees, but they love the, the sides, the, the banks uh, where it's really wet. And they do really good, and, and they really grow plentiful too. Great plant to have. I don't know why people have to rely on the aspirin bottles when you could use these. The bark, it's not even old enough to have a, a good solid bark around it yet, so it's very young, but the leaves are still good. Um, it's not a white willow, but it doesn't exactly have to be the perfect exact willow. It's a part of the family. So, there's willow in there, there's a lot of uh, grass, there's burdock just getting started with its burrs. The leaves, I tried to make a tea with, it hurt my stomach, it's said to be antibiotic. If you make a tea out of the leaves with dandelion, if you make a burdock dandelion leaf tea, it's a purge and you'll clean out your body of um, toxins. The dandelion helps diuretic and burdock helps anti, um, an it's anti-toxin or just takes, takes away the toxins. And now I'm just going through this, whoops, but you have a root that's edible too, that'd probably be more desirable to consume is the root of these burdock. Maybe I can get a better shot of the broad leaf here. Just a huge leaf, but you can't make a tea out of it, it'll hurt your stomach. It's just too harsh. It's too bitter. The, the bitterness is overpowering. The roots would be a little friendlier. The seeds, 
Now, I've tried the seeds, and the, now before magnet therapy, once again, I'll say, it, it uh, gave me energy, it was, it was unique. The seeds kill pathogens, kill, back, um, kill like the harmful stuff in the body. Um, antibiotic, very strongly antibiotic. I mean, we're talking, I, I mean, <laughs> if medical drugs are supposed to be powerful, these, these have to come very close. I, I felt a, a large amount of energy, and then for only a couple days, and then it stopped. And, uh, uh, and I think maybe that bacteria returned, but I just chewed on the seeds a little bit, swallowed them. They're very potent, they're, they, their taste is very strong too. Medicine-y, almost similar, not, not, not quite the leaf where it's bitter, it doesn't have that bitter taste, it's completely different, just a medicine-y. Almost like the sap of the dandelion, but not quite. Um, but very powerful seeds, something to consider if somebody is, if we, if you take the approach of Western medicine of infectious diseases, this uh, that would be a good potent cure to hold on to. I actually gathered a jar once and just sat on it uh, in case I got sick. It's it's hard for me to judge whether. Uh, I, uh, it, it, it would be effective for sickness outright. I've uh, I mainly relied on garlic. Um, you know, I, I have to say I haven't given the burdock seed enough time. I've only tested it out just to play with it. And there's a ton of burdock throughout here. Now we're coming up upon a motherwort. Here's a couple. I want to bring us to <coughs> a more a larger patch. <coughs> Now this is motherwort right here. It's got this little, this little uh, three forked leaf deal. They grow tall. I think it's a, it's kind of a, it's a square, um, like base, um, like mint is square in in the in the stem. But it, I forget. I don't think it tastes like mint. Yeah, it's a different smell. Um, different, yeah, very different taste. I've made, uh, I might make another tea. Um, other work cures depression, but you were looking short term because I feel magnet therapy works a lot better. It, yep, yeah, it's it's your depression cure. Um, that's that's the main part of it, the leaf. You mainly just make a tea out of the leaf. It's pretty darn gentle on the body. It doesn't grow everywhere. It kind of surprises me the places I find it. Um, but it's not often that I do find it. Motherwort. These little flowers, bees love them. It'd be better to gr let them grow out and har harvest honey if, if you're a beekeeper. Um, stinging nettle, there's a lot of goodies around here. Stinging nettle now is going to sting me. It's it's very unique. It's, it uh, has a lot of iron. Alright, if, if you think you have an iron deficiency, you're looking at the ferrous, or uh, not ferrite, but it's a different kind of iron, but it's, it's loaded with more iron than the other plants. Yes, all the plants look green, but regardless of, of how, regardless that everything looks green and you assume it's the same, it's not. They all have different phytochemicals. Think that their shapes are different at least. <laughs> not just the, the color of their, their uh, vegetation, but their shapes. They, they, they grew different shapes and with that different phytochemicals to, um, it's to serve as uh, both a defense and, and uh, a growth promoter defense of the stinging nettle is the formic acid you get stung by it to the last a few hours but I put magnets over us I, I put like last year I put a magnet over us another sting I've had a couple of stings where I've been able to use magnet therapy and I've gotten good relief I'm once again, I'll, I'll speak highly of magnet therapy and say that it does a good job helping relieve stings of the stinging nettle. But you pull the leaf, 
maybe let it sit out an hour the formic acid goes away and you can make a tea out of it you could eat it straight up if you're in survival mode it's pretty gentle it's 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 a uh, it's pretty soft soft texture it's irony if you dry it out it'll just crumple really easily like turn to dust so that's the uniqueness of the stinging nettle it, you also want to be careful of it it's one of the last foods that horse would eat I've, I've noticed at least uh, well is there anything else over here uh, these are poisonous I hear the Indian um, what what wild melon I think is something like that the, the seeds are kind of uh, spiky balls seeds the Indians use them to poison fish to stun them enough to catch them um, yeah I'm gonna stop here um, so that's just looking through the bushes here you see there's several different medicinal kinds of plants and it's it's a cacophony of, of a, it's a medicine chest but a lot of people don't see that they'd rather run to the store all right thank you